you have any intention of using the purple lotion or you want to buy the purple lotion for someone then i suggest you watch this video till the end before buying purple lotion because i'll be talking basically everything about purple lotion hey everyone my name is Eno, and you're welcome to my channel if this is your very first time of stopping by here i want to say you're welcome on this channel i talk about skincare i do product reviews I do lifestyle and lots more so please if you like my videos please 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 subscribe and support my channel okay so let's get down to business the purple lotion I don't have it here with me but I've used it so I can remember a lot about the lotion so the purple lotion comes in different sizes it has the big size the medium size and the small size it also has the cream cup container it also has soap and also the oil it is an Abidjan lotion and it is made by Dream Cosmetics. Yes, I'm right, Dream Cosmetics. So the purple lotion contains kojic acid, citric acid, papaya extract, mm, alpha hydroxy acid. It doesn't contain hydroquinone, that's what the manufacturer stated. And the lotion is a clarifying lotion. According to the manufacturer, that it's going to clarify your complexion your skin tone and erase um spots and give you a even skin tone so the first time i used for pollution was last year i used the first container it was really nice my face was glowing i used the second container then i think the second container i started noticing some stuff about lotion generally one thing i've noticed about abidjan lotion and if you have been using abidjan lotion you will also agree with me that abidjan lotion most of their lotion makes your face to be smooth and spotless like your face will be flawless then other parts of your body you can be seeing different things that you don't understand so the purple lotion my face was smooth everything was fine the face was okay but i was having dark knuckles and uneven skin tone down my legs in my legs i was having uneven skin tone so that is the reason why i stopped using the purple lotion last year so fast forward to this year okay so i bought the purple lotion for my younger sister i just said okay let her try the lotion since it was giving me uneven skin tone maybe it will be better on her skin her skin is a hard skin so <laughs> okay i bought the lotion for i bought the big size so in the process of using the, the big size she used it for like two months so after a month i noticed okay it was giving her sunburn when i used it it did not give me sunburn it gave her sunburn it gave her dark knuckles like her knuckles were really dark darker than my own when i was using it her elbows dark her knees dark her legs dark her legs were having uneven skin too like it was looking like something that was burnt down her leg so i just quickly told her to stop the lotion she stopped using the lotion I don't know whether it's because she's going under the sun because she's a teenager and she still goes to secondary school so i don't know if that's the reason why it gave her all those kind of rea excessive reactions so i asked her to stop the lotion and get another lotion for her so lastly on the purple lotion there was a day i went to the market the reason why i'm trying to give you this different experience is so that you know hmm? So that based on these experiences, you cannot decide whether you want to use it. Because if I judge it based on my own personal experience, it might be that, okay, it's just one person. Okay, so I went to the market to buy something and I saw a lady, she was selling banana. I was, when I saw her, I saw that her face was very smooth. Like it was flawless, no pimple, no sunburn, no spot at all. So I wanted to know the face cream she was using. So I called her. I saw her hands, but she was having dark knuckles on her fingers. So I was just interested in knowing the face cream she was using. So I called her and okay, I wanted to buy the banana so that it would be a win-win situation whereby she gets to sell her banana and I get the information that I needed. So we finished bargaining on the banana. I bought it and I asked her which face cream are you using she was like face cream that no she's not using any face cream that she only uses purple lotion and then I had to compliment her like wow your face is looking smooth it's looking flawless the cream is really good for your face but I now told her it's giving you dark knuckles look at your fingers look at your legs so I now told her to go to a supermarket that I frequent that she should go there and show them her knuckles so that they can give her something that would 
help her with the knuckles that is if she doesn't want to leave the lotion so generally if you want to use purple lotion i've not seen anyone that use purple lotion without any reaction i have not seen okay so myself personally i cannot recommend purple lotion for anyone i cannot buy it for anyone but in rare cases there are people who use it and it is okay on their skin especially people who don't go out maybe they are full-time housewives or they do their business indoors they are not in any way exposed to the sun because the purple lotion does not have SPF. It does not have sun protection. So if you're using that lotion and you're going under the sun, you are definitely going to get sunburn and other reactions due to the fact that it doesn't have sun protection. Except if you're going to use the lotion and then you buy a sunscreen that you apply on your body after using the cream. Okay, if you're completely light skin and you use the purple lotion and you don't go under the sun, it might be okay for you because my seven I was using it, I was going under the sun every day. Although not that I would stay under the sun for long, but I always enter the sun and I was not using sunscreen, although it didn't give me sunburn. But majority of the people that use pop pollution always end up with one reaction or another. So if you're going to use pop pollution, you just need to have it in mind that you might get reactions from using it or it might be perfect on your skin. So the purpose of this review is just to give you an open mind so that if you decide to use the lotion, whatever you get in return, you will not be surprised or be upset. Okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other questions you want to ask, you can do that in the comment section. Maybe I might have forgotten something that I want to say. So but when you ask a question, I'll be able to answer you in the comment section. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please, 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 my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back here to support me. And the passerby, the guest, <laughs> the guest of today, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you very much.